Hi, everybody. This is Matt again. Uh, we're going to continue another uh, special uh, segment on the peripheral vascular system. And today we're going to talk about the really important uh, organs, the kidneys. So anyways, your kidneys are super important for the balance of your blood and keeping all the electrolytes and chemicals uh, in the appropriate uh, concentrations and it does that through filtration. So it's like a big filter system uh, for your blood and uh, it's very complex, but like many things in your body, it just keeps on ticking and doing its job. So I'm gonna give uh, a brief presentation to our picture that we presented before. And this is the uh, abdominal aorta and you will see right there in the middle of the picture on the left and on the right, the kidneys. And in blue is the inferior vena cava, uh, and it has branches that extend into the kidneys. And in red is the abdominal aorta. So that's that. And then these, these next paintings are just incredible. This is uh, the detail of the kidney and how it filters your blood. So stay tuned. Here we go. So first we'll take a look at a little bit of a cross section of the kidney. You can see it right there. And on the side there again you'll see the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava. And that uh, yellowish looking tube that starts uh, actually at the center of the kidney and extends down and then downwards uh, is where uh, urine will be drained out of the kidney and down to your bladder. That tube is called the ureter. So anyways, I'll back out a little bit and then we're going to go into this other detail which is like just incredible. So, going upwards, we're looking at, if you look at no, number 17 in the middle, this is the nephron. This is the functional unit of the kidney. You see number 17 is pointing towards uh, one specific uh, glomerulus, and then, which is a actually the filtration system. And then here's number 17 on the side. And look at that. That, with the arrow pointing downwards in the red, is a very small artery. And then the blood is through a combination. You see the holes in the, uh, the, the filtration system here? Those are so small it has the ability, based on the size of the particular chemical, to filter out in the right concentration the chemicals, for instance, electrolytes, um, calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, and to keep those all in balance. It also does that with um, other chemicals that uh, end up in your blood due to metabolism. Then, coming back here, you start the drainage process. If you look very carefully, down at the bottom, near number 19, there's an arrow. That is the beginning of the collection tubule. And that tu all those tubules combine, end up feeding into the center of the kidney, and then down the ureter and out um, down to the bladder. And then you um, urinate and you get rid of those waste products. And over here is a larger version of the nephron. And you actually see here in red is the arterial segment, which uh, combines uh, at the very end of the arterial system with the venous system. And then when, once that filtration process is done, 
up here at the top. Again, that's nephron, right there. Then you can follow the yellow, loops around, comes back up, then gets larger, and there it is right there. And that goes into that larger tubule, and that drains down to the center of the kidney, which is, again, right there. And then all of the urine combined drains into the ureter and down to the bladder. So, the, and the blood flow to your kidneys is phenomenal. And they, they like your heart, <laughs> they work like a Swiss watch. Swiss watches are nice. American watches are nice too, but the kidneys are a fantastic uh, example of complexity and reliability. And they also have up above them the suprarenal glands, which are very important in maintaining blood pressure. We'll go into that in more detail in another presentation. But those are your kidneys. Take care of your blood pressure, keep it normal, and your kidneys will take care of you, okay? Have a great day.